Hey there. Uh, welcome back. I'm going to use the Zoom over here. Went wise and decided to get a software that will help me record this better, I hope. Um, in the meantime, I did finish this guy. Last video, this guy was not painted. I did uh, use some of the Vallejo's um, Express color paints, red, or, or where, where, it, where it is red, and I used green on cloak. Uh, I just wanted to see how these paints uh, work. I like them. I uh, like them a lot. I think that this guy ended up not being not so bad. I decided he seems a little bit pale, uh, but yeah, I decided to have a blonde hair guy over here, and I used some gold just to get the shine. Um, went also to the hobby store to buy some washes from Vallejo, um, which I've been using. I I really like how they how they complete the process. Uh, this is the other ranger. Uh, I like how this guy ended up too. Uh, probably, uh, in, in regards to this, I probably will um, buy uh, other D&D minis for them to be, um, for me to paint them. I think I like them. They're really small compared to what we are going to do today, which is this guy. Um, this guy is going to be my uh, sergeant, if I'm not mistaken, for the intercessors of the Dark Kraken's chapter. That's what I'm, I'm going to play. And what we're going to do, at least on this video, is uh, make the place a coat of black because I want all the black to be on the same color. Based on the armor pieces, I will leave the the gun casings and the pouches just as they are. But in the armor pieces, I will use the Vallejo black. Apparently this is famous, 70.950. I will be using this one for the coat. Then, after the code's placed, I will use a uh, contrast paint, which is the Magnolia uh, or back Black Lotus. That, that's the name. Um, because this leaves a blue hue at the end of the, uh, of, the, um, of the process. And that's exactly what I want the lights to be with this guy. So, yeah, I will use that on most of the armor. Also, for the pauldrons, I will be using this one. Uh, hopefully, it works. Um, I may have to use some magenta on that one just to get it a little bit darker if, if it's needed. But, yeah, all the colors that I might be using. Um, I will be using this visceral red from Vallejo again. Uh, at least I'll try to do the details on the um, over here. You can see hopefully a cord holding on 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 the ornaments over here on the holder. I will try to use those as as red. The uh, I haven't decided what to do with the. Of, of the short pad, probably I'm going to leave them black, uh, but I'm, I'm not sure yet. I, I'm going to change the to be either gold, um, yeah, gold or black. I'm, I haven't decided that so yet. I'm going to start using my, my brush number four, so it's been with a little bit of water. I already have black, it's not been seen on on screen, but it is on my web palette all right. Always drop a little bit more uh, what you have over here. 
and let's get the place the code. Something up on my computer. Please wait for me a couple minutes. There we go. Okay. Everything everything seems to be well in order. I just want to continue my log on my process on. Um, Miniature painting. Hopefully, my son will be able to see this when he's older. Right now, he's two years old. Fine, decent boy. I can continue to help him that way. I'm coding this black again because I, I, I just wanted to have a uh, same tone of black uh, when I. When I do some of the other painting or uh, paints on on this, I can use this one. I use some tack uh, to get the minis in a way that I don't have to hold them directly. To just get some more of that black color on my palette, I think it's a little bit too thin. Always shake your paintings. Your paints they, they need to be shaken. All right. Let's see. Let's continue now. Let's in the pen, the brush. Otherwise, I uh, installed a software that helps me record better. I think directly with my computer so I don't think I'll have that same um, time limit that I had on other videos though I will just set myself or I'll try um, even if it is less I, 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 this video I'm going to just to place code on the R if I can get okay everything seems to be normal it's already absorbed right from the first coat. Again, I'm just doing the armor. I'm not going to do everything on the mini because I am going. It is already primed in black. I don't think I need more of this. And I have. I. I, I don't know who where I saw that. Some painted up um, a, a dark kraken with a. Uh, this arm being in copper, I think, and I like that that, that idea. I'm going to copy it. Hopefully, nobody gets mad. Um, but yeah, I, I I like that idea of of that that arm being complete in copper or, or gold. I don't remember which one exactly was the color, but the rest of mini was uh, at least on the armor parts black with uh, later uh, shades on blue which is what I think I'm going to do like blue in details the shades and uh, and everything else that's going to be on the miniature let's get that dry a little bit I use this for uh, any other parts that I want to paint which in this case will be the bolter and the other part of the armor this part is going to be completely black and the bolter mainly is going to be black too I'll pass some of the oil um, the wash that I have um, in order to enrich the deep but mainly it's going to be black, so yeah. I have to see how uh, 
it is on box art so to be faithful as possible I like the bolters I like the new ones how they look okay it seems to be working so far now the backpack okay I'm going to cover all of this with blanks in the brush Let's grab some of the black color again so I can continue. I got my my I got a, a captain the, the Space Marine Army that I'm going to set to uh, meet. And I also got my this is the hand that we're going to use. I never liked the idea of um half the helmet or no helmet at all in Space Marine, so I'm I'm more with the uh, uh, with painting the whole uh, or the uh, helmet. This is going to be a sergeant. I'm thinking that I'm going to freehand some red streak at least over here. I'm thinking of the eyes to be in green. Hopefully, I can make a glow. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it's at this point. Um, I will watch some tutorials and I think I have enough to do that. And yeah, I think in the mouthpiece of the of the helmet, I want it to be uh, on red. I think it contrasts very well with the with the black color. I will try to use uh, uh, this contrast paint just so it's not exactly uh, bright. But it covers at least the details of the of the mouthpiece. Uh, that's at least what I'm expecting. Okay. At this moment, this should have already been dried. And right. Let's see. Let's use a little bit more on this. And. Just for the hand. That's it. Let's have a little bit more of the uh, on the neck neck part over here. Last the space marines that I painted with they were completely green. Now these guys uh, is going to be black, uh, red, uh, purple, and white. Let's do at least the first part and let's continue uh, later tomorrow I will guess. Uh, none of this is dried, not yet. Not yet at least. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, let's wait a little bit longer. Uh, in the meantime, okay, I'm going to start to use Vallejo um, Black Gloss uh, Contrast Paint. I'm going to use this on the, on the feet and the legs. I like the contrast paints. I think they're good. And I like how they cover uh, miniature and then they leave um, a shade of, uh, at least in this case, a blue hue on the end of the mini or the 
Edge is good. Let's complete the boots. You're not back. Base coding is something that some people really don't like to do. I, I don't care. I think it's the easiest part of, it, of this so far. Just to provide a general uh, color to the whole me. I understand if you have already a different favorite aspects of what you're doing that you might not like certain of uh, certain other of, of them. I just I don't have that much time painting, and I already can tell you that um, I suck at edge highlighting, and I hate the implication of it. That's why I'm going to use a dry brush just to avoid that uh, because I'm weak. Because for now, I don't know how to do it any other way. I've seen tutorials and just my, my, I need to go into do practice on that and maybe my muscle memory will recover uh, or at least not recover, uh, born, <laughs> be born. And maybe at that point, yeah, I will be able to um, do the edge highlighting. Uh, in the meantime, I don't think I'm going to be able to do so. Uh, okay, seems to me that all the other parts that I just applied it are already dried. So let's work on the rest of the pieces of the armor over here. We'll wait to see how it looks once it's dry. Again, avoiding the pouches. I think the pouches, I'm going to paint them um, in uh, brown color. I found this one on my box of paints from Vallejo, uh, Silky Ink. Uh, this creates, it's, it works like a wash. I don't think Vallejo work, uh, creates that thing more. And, And it looks, once it dries, it looks just as if it was leather. So I, I like it a lot. Um, it is basically what it is over here on the leather gloves of this guy and boots. Uh, it's not focusing correctly, but yeah, I, uh, you can see that um, there's also these gloves, these boots. Yeah, it gives the impression of leather, so I think I'm going to continue with that. All right now, the chest and the Aquila. The Aquila, I haven't decided how I want to paint it. If white, which is a possibility, uh, though I don't know, it's going to be very difficult because the base is already black, uh, the base of the color. Um, I'll try to do that, but I'm thinking on white or, uh, yeah, completely golden. I'm leaning on white, I like the contrast as it might have been implied earlier on this video. Uh, okay, just base coat. Let's move on to the other pieces just to provide more base coating. All right, let's clean the brush. I'm not going to use this one on the gun. I'm just going to leave it on the armor pieces. I want the Space Marine to be reflective in that way, if possible. Uh, so I'm going to leave it as it is for now. I think I have to 
much of the contrast paint on my brush, but that's okay. Basically, I'm going to cover everything that I want to kind of have that blue hue. That's intention. I'm not sure if, it, if I'm going to get, hopefully I can. I can see it already on, on some of the parts that it's um, leaving that hue behind. Um, and once all of this dries, I will use the the wash to provide more details on the at least the backpack. Again, I'm using tack on this. I know other people do drill the the part below uh, uh, of the helmet or, or, or the miniature over here. Uh, I don't think I have any uh, paper clips on my house at this moment. Funny as it is. Um, so and that's something that some people uh, hold on this uh these models and uh but yeah all right let's leave that for a moment let's see if this is drying uh it's still a little bit fresh um all right it's not leaving exactly the color that i want should i apply a second coat Maybe I'm mistaken on all of this, but it doesn't seem to be leaving that blue uh, hue behind it. Maybe I should have primed it white, but I don't have a white primer. Uh, Alright, let's do a second coating on the boots, just to see how it works. Go on the back of the boot. The off fingers. On the main part, chest piece. Abdomen. And the neck. I haven't learned how to edit any of my videos, so I'm just going to post this as it is, uh, for better or worse. Alright, everything seems to be drying out properly. Um, on the arm on the arm which one do i want to use i think i'll use this one brass I'll leave it to dry and I'll work on the shoulder pad over here. I'll use the contrast paint for supposedly pink. Though it seems more like magenta. 
instead of pink. Hopefully it works the way it's intended. These paints are already very, very, very thin uh, out of the bottle. I'm hoping that the gravity will help me on this. That paint will just go down and position itself on nukes that I cannot bring completely, hopefully. And we'll let it dry. I don't think it's going to be the way that I expected it to be. That's a shame. That's a shame. Let's see if I can remove excess over there. Do it tomorrow. Let's that. Let that dry. This doesn't seem to be working the way that I expected. I'm over 27 minutes. I think I'm going to call it a day over here. I'm going to just complete the arm and I'm going to call it at night. For what's worth, uh, these paints are very good. I am the one that is not good. Uh, anyways, for now, I hope you have enjoyed the video, uh, whomever you are. Um, if you have some pointers, I will welcome them on the comment section. If not, that's okay. Um, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I hope you have a great and joyful life. Goodbye.